Last year at UK convention TF Nation, I offered a sponsored episode of The Basics as a prize for the con's charity auction, and the winning bid was by Adam and Jock Moffat, who chose the subject of my first video for 2024. Across the galaxy, the planet Cybertron is known as a world of endless conflict, as the Autobots and Decepticons have spent millions of years locked in their Great War. But the Transformers weren't always at war. Once Cybertron was a planet at peace, and it's that era of peace that Adam and Jock wanted to hear about. These are the basics on the Golden Age of Cybertron. In the 1980s, the history of Cybertron before the war was told in two different ways by the Transformers animated series and the Marvel comic book. In the comic, life on Cybertron began when the God of Light, Primus, created the Transformers out of the substance of the planet. According to the supplementary prose story State Games, published in the United Kingdom in 1986, the Transformers lived in peace and prosperity for eons, ruled over by a line of Autobot overlords. But as the population grew and fuel became scarcer, the overlords' rule weakened, and the planet split into a collection of independent city-states, vying for control of Cybertron's resources. Eventually, the cities of Voss and Tarn went to war and wiped each other out, a brief conflict that resulted in the death of the last of the Overlords and left the Autobot city of Iacon as the largest power on the planet. Peace reigned again for a time, but in secret, Megatron united the survivors of Voss and Tarn under his leadership, and soon began the war to conquer the entire planet. In the cartoon, on the other hand, the Transformer race was created by the evil aliens, the Quintessons, who used Cybertron as a factory world to build them. Initially, the robots were forced to serve the Quintessons as slaves, but eventually they rose up in revolt and forced their cruel masters off the planet. Now free, the Autobots, having been created by the Quintessons as consumer goods, went on to build a peaceful society dedicated to the arts and culture. But the Decepticons, hungry for conquest due to having been designed as military hardware, attempted to take over the planet. The Autobots succeeded in defeating the Decepticons in this first clash, leading into a long era of peaceful Autobot rule on Cybertron, which lasted until Megatron rose to power and began the Great War. The cartoon was the first to call this harmonious pre-war era the Golden Age, a name introduced by writer David Wise in his 1985 episode War Dawn. In real life, the term Golden Age is a metaphor used to refer to periods of great prosperity and advancement in human history, but for Cybertron it was a lot more literal, as in this energy-rich time the planet quite literally shone with a golden glow. The war would drain Cybertron of this glow as its energy dwindled, but in the series' 1987 finale, The Rebirth, also written by Wise, a second Golden Age began when the planet was re-energized with the power of Earth's sun and regained its golden hue. Since its introduction in the cartoon, the term Golden Age has often been used to refer to a bountiful era in Cybertron's past by new Transformers media. Exactly when in the planet's history it occurs varies. In some series, as in the original cartoon, the Golden Age is the period directly before the war. But in others, the names used to refer to another of the periods of peace from further back in Transformer history. And each series has offered its own vision for what life on Cybertron was like during this time. For instance, in 2005's Transformers Cybertron, the ancient pre-war times saw the Transformers attempt to expand across the galaxy by founding Cybertronian colonies on other planets. Tie-in media for the 2007 live-action movie depicted Optimus Prime and Megatron as the co-rulers of Cybertron during the Golden Age, with Optimus overseeing its scientific advancement and Megatron leading its military, until the ambitious Megatron turned on his brother, seeking to rule the planet alone. 
Also in 2007, IDW Publishing's comic books chose to explore the darker side of the Golden Age, in stories that revealed how the era's ruler, Nova Prime, sought to spread the peace and order of Cybertron across the galaxy by conquering other planets. Significantly, the miniseries Megatron Origin illustrated how, after Nova left the planet on this mad mission, the Golden Age gave way to a period of severe social inequality, governed by a corrupt senate while an underprivileged working class toiled at the bottom rung of society. It was the injustice of this era that inspired lower class bot Megatron to gather together his fellow workers into an army to tear down the system and seize power for himself. But this video isn't about that. For a more detailed look at the history of the war and the evolving story of how and why it began in different series, check out the basics on the Great War. Behind the scenes, Hasbro spent the latter half of the 2000s internally developing a story about the earliest days of life on Cybertron, centred on the very first Transformers, the legendary 13 Primes. This story would eventually grow to form the basis of the Aligned Continuity, a multimedia project launched in 2010 designed to bring together ideas from all across Transformers history to create a unified modern vision for the franchise and its lore, which included the most detailed account of Cybertron's history to date. As recounted in full in the 2013 guidebook, The Covenant of Primus, the aligned story of life on Cybertron began when Primus created the 13 Primes, who then ignited the Well of All Sparks, a wellspring of Primus's power from which all subsequent Transformer life emerged. Known in Cybertronian history as the Age of Evolution, this period saw the Primes shepherd these new life forms through the early stages of civilization. But the race's development was set back when the gravity of a passing sun threw Cybertron into chaos, triggering an extinction event called the Great Cataclysm that wiped out much life on the planet. After the Cataclysm, a new era known as the Age of Origins began, in which the survivors of the disaster banded together into a collection of primitive barbarian tribes, which then gradually gathered together to form settlements, the largest of which would eventually become the planet's capital, Iacon. During this age, Cybertron was visited by the Quintessons, who tricked the primitive Cybertronians into welcoming them in by claiming to be benevolent beings come to advance the Cybertronian race, when secretly they really intended to use the Transformers to build space bridges for them and then sell them into slavery across the galaxy. Under the Quintessons' guidance, Cybertron underwent rapid technological advancement, quickly evolving from a primitive feudal culture into a unified society, governed by a high council and organised into a caste system that assigned Transformers specific jobs based on what they transformed into. Eventually, however, the Transformers discovered the Quintessons' evil intentions and turned on them, expelling them from Cybertron. The era of Quintesson rule became known as the Age of Wrath, but its end marked the beginning of the Golden Age, as the Transformers used what they'd learned from the aliens to grow and flourish as a species, even using the space bridges to establish colonies on other planets. But after 8,000 years, the Golden Age came to a terrible end when a deadly plague of rust began spreading across the colonies. To prevent the disease from reaching Cybertron, the Transformers were forced to destroy the space bridges, leaving their homeworld cut off from the rest of the galaxy. In this new era, known as the Age of Rust, institutional rot soon set in. As the planet fell back on the old systems of governance out of a need for stability and security, the caste system degenerated into total inequality, with bots forced into lives and positions on the social hierarchy from birth that they couldn't change. Megatron spoke out against this system, but he and his friend Orion Pax disagreed over how to best end its injustices. Ultimately, Orion's belief in peaceful reform and Megatron's desire for violent revolutionary action proved irreconcilable, and when Orion's views led him to be chosen by the Council to become the planet's next leader, 
Optimus Prime, the embittered Megatron began the Great War to take the power he felt his former friend had stolen from him. This story has become the definitive modern interpretation of Cybertron's pre-war history, and its broad strokes have, either in whole or in part, served as inspiration for the backstory of almost every major new series produced since, including 2018's Cyberverse, 2020's War for Cybertron, and 2022's Earthspark. Plus, the concepts would even feed back into both the movie universe and IDW's comics, which continued to more deeply explore their darker aspects, including the galactic ramifications of the planet's history of colonialism and the fascist politics behind the caste system. However, some series have still been able to take the story of pre-war Cybertron in new directions. When IDW rebooted their comic books in 2019, they introduced a new universe in which the golden age of colonization was ended not by rust, but by the Quintessons, when they manipulated a Transformer named Exarchon into trying to destroy Cybertron in order to end the Transformer's expansion across the galaxy. Exarchon was stopped, but his threat convinced Autobot leader Nominus Prime to end the colonization program and to begin rationing Energon to restrict the destructive growth of the Transformer race. Now, in this series, the era that followed wasn't one of inequality. Cybertron became a peaceful, healthy world where Transformers were free to choose their paths in life, where death was almost unheard of. The planet enjoyed strong relationships with neighboring worlds, and representatives of multiple alien species even immigrated to live on Cybertron. But there were those who believed that Nominus's edict was preventing their race from achieving its full potential, that it was their destiny to spread unchecked across the universe, a belief that led to the rise of the Decepticons and the beginning of the war. Later this year, the new animated movie Transformers 1 promises to tell another story of pre-war Cybertron, centering on the friendship and falling out of the young Optimus Prime and Megatron. But how similar it'll be to the version of the story we already know, and how differently it'll depict Cybertron in the days before conflict consumed the planet, we can only wait to find out. And those are the basics on the golden age of Cybertron. Thanks to Adam and Jock for sponsoring this episode. Let me know some of your favorite concepts from Cybertronian history in the comments. And as ever, if you've enjoyed, check out my channel for hundreds more videos about Transformers history and lore.